What is up guys? This is YF Chess and today I'm going to be going through an amazing endgame study. Uh, it's by it's by Kasperin. Kasperin? Is that how you say his name? Kasperin. Yeah, I see it I see it in books all the time, but I never never heard anyone say it. It's okay, so it's a study by Kasperin and it's white to move. And if you want to have a go yourself before I say anything, uh, then please go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, so uh, first of all, what's going on in the position? Uh, White's uh, White's a bishop up, and he's gonna he's gonna try and win. Okay, so in the most uh, obvious move now is Bishop takes B4 to get rid of that really big pass pawn but the problem is rook takes f6 and once that pawn goes unless you can check him immediately which you can't then bishop and rook against rook is a draw in in most cases if, if black defends correctly and yeah so now so now it's just uh, black's king is going to escape like this and he should he should draw with correct defense so bishop takes b4 doesn't work and let's say we try the caveman approach so let's uh, keep our pawn and just push it okay uh, now the pro problem with this is it's uh, black's pawns are actually really high as well so rook, rook's behind past pawns uh, attacking the pawn and stopping it from queening so if you want to try and win you have to try keep the pawn rook d7 and now rook f1 check and if king c2 just b3 and the pawn pawn keeps going so we've got to uh, deal with two things in this position main uh, thing that we have to keep in order to preserve winning chances is this pawn and the other thing is we've got to try and stop his Rook from coming down and being really active because then he's gonna push the, this pawn down with check and queens really fast. So uh, you can probably guess my next move, my next move, my next move here. So it's the multi-purpose move. We're gonna go bishop g5. So that blocks the rook, blocks the rook, and. It defends defends the pawn at the same time, and as you can see, this rook actually it's pretty much been paralyzed by that move. It can't it can't go anywhere. If it wants to go active, it has to it has to go round round like this or something, which takes takes way too long. Okay, uh, but the thing is now, uh, Black's gonna try and see counterplay with his pawns because these pawns are so high. So, okay, b3. So again, we can't just ignore the threat because he's going to be faster after b2 check queen. Uh, White's next move is pretty simple. So we've got to stop stop this uh, b2 check. So we go rook d2. And now, okay, b2 will just take it. Thanks very much. Uh, he's got king a3 or king a1. The problem with king a3 is that we're just going to checkmate him along this diagonal by playing f7 and you can't stop bishop bishop e7 or f8 equals queen and it's going to be really hurting so he has to play king a1 and here i here i saw actually now we can stop pushing the pawn because he can't stop us from queening so we push again he can't go can't go b2. If he goes a3 here to try and support b2, we, we use rook d1. Uh, the point being that we now have a discovered check which also stops b1 and then we make the queen. So here black goes rook takes g5 and queen and queen a3 is a big threat. It's going to be checkmate and black has to play rook g1 
And now I, I thought I solved it after Rook D1. Okay, so here's a, here's another position. If you if you haven't seen up to here, you can try pausing again now. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, I thought I solved it here because I saw B2 check. Now I go King C2, and then he queens, and I just take it, take it, Queen. Uh, queen a3, mate. Well, similarly, if he doesn't do that, if he takes here, this is probably the nicer, nicer finish. You just ignore it. You just go queen a3, and it's mate. So I, I n quite naively thought I'd solved it, uh, having reached this position in my mind. For b2, king c2, and queen a3 is going to be mate. Uh, but actually, yeah, I miss. I completely miss Black's, uh, Black's move here, which is really strong. Uh, I'm really impressed if you s saw this guys, it's Rook to G2. And the point is that he's threatening mate with B2. And it's surprisingly difficult to defend against. So for example if we just move the Rook away so we get a square, he can, he can just push and it's uh, gonna be mate. So now how, how do we deal with that if we go Rook back to D2? This is going to be a draw, which we don't want. Um, okay. Um, so now there's a really, really neat idea. See if you can see it. Okay, here we go. Queen a3. Forcing rook a2. And now... Have you seen it? Have you seen it? You're gonna really like it when you see it. Who needs who needs women when when you, you can have studies like these? Uh, yeah, Rook Rook D2. Point being, after Rook takes A3, we play Rook B2. And okay, with two pawns down, we've sacrificed our queen. But Black's in zigzag here. He's only got one move, and that's gonna be pretty much a help mate because it takes away the king square, and we can finish him off with rook b1 mate. So that's a really witty finish, which I really enjoyed. And there's one one last thing we have to look at, which is in this position instead of taking. Black can also play B2. Check. And now, if you go Queen takes, Rook takes, Rook takes, this pawn comes up, and we can't, we can't, uh, we can't win this. It's going to be stalemate. So in this position, okay, there's a important intermediate move. We want to go rook b1 check, king a2, and then bring the the rook back. And now he plays king a1. And can you guys see the finish? We go king c2. Okay, black has to push, he has to do something productive. And now we're going to let him queen by going king b3. There goes king b1. Yeah, this king b3. It cuts off our own rook, so to avoid stalemate. And now we go rook along along here. And the point being is that when he queens, we mate him. And if he if he makes a knight here, sorry, I don't know how to make a knight yet. If he makes a knight here, check. Then we just play king c3. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we just play king c3. And then he can't he can't keep his knight. If king a2 we play rook h2 check. And bring bring the rook over. So uh thanks a lot for watching my video. It's a really amazing endgame. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. 
and yeah, this is this is a uh, sorry, this finish. this is a really nice finish here. Take Rick B to Rick A to Rick B one check. Mix. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.